So what's up? So this video is going to be about the TV One Bobby DeBard story. And my personal take about it is I'm going to have mixed emotions. Um, you know, Bobby DeBard was a very talented, charismatic talent. And his family is one of the most important musical families for black uh, America. I say that because I put that alongside the Jacksons, the Silvers, uh, if you want the Ozzy Brothers, you know, just to name a few. And what it represented. Um, Switch was a very distinctive band. And I do use the term band and I don't use it loosely because I have to tell the truth. They could play different instruments. That's what made them unique. And they were young cats from Flint, Michigan. And they had aspirations of taking the music world by storm. You know, and everybody know most people who follow them know the story about they'll never be, I call your name, classic songs. But, you know, when you start dealing with the sex, drugs, politics, and the rock and roll of the music industry and so on and so forth, there's a lot of other layers. And how do you properly tell that in a TV movie? I don't know if you can. I think almost you have to almost take that to the big screen. But I don't know if they'll, you know, again, to appreciate a talent like Barbara DeBarge requires so much, you know. It's going to be very interesting how they portray him uh, as an artist, his vision, his creativity, um, you know. And then, of course, uh, other family members involved, including the great, talented Elder Barge. Also, uh, his sister Bunny is a very talented artist, James the Barge, Marty. There's so many, Randy, they're, they're, they all could play. They all could sing. The interesting thing about Switch is that well, these cats, you had some great talent in there including the, uh, the great talented Gregory Williams, very talented, as long as the name of the right name of the group, by the way, and then uh, Philip Ingram, who's James Ingram's brother, you know, amongst. So you all have talent in this band. And their story, where they, where they touch on association with Barry White, <clears throat> you know, and the fact that Jermaine Jackson was a ghost artist on their records, where they touch on that. See, from the music geek in me, those are things that I'd say, could you touch on? But Jermaine, Jermaine Jackson was to switch like Prince was to the time. So he was ghosting. And, but will they, you know, and that's the music aspect I want to know. But I also want to see, like, how Bobby's harmonies and his talent. Because it was interesting when you hear um, Bobby DeBarge's mother said that he had more talent in his pinky than L had. And L was very catchy, uh very distinctive so this is gonna be um you know if it's done right how it's how it formulates what it means you know so on and so forth so i don't know right now <clears throat> it's a kind of hard to say what it will mean what will in detail if it's done right but i don't know cb1 may kind of water it down because you know sometimes people like to lose things like lose change so i don't know i just hope that his story gets told the proper way I mean, on one hand, I am glad to see that an artist of his magnitude is getting recognized because a lot of people don't haven't even began to tap into some of you know, the great untalented, unsung, not untalented, but unsung black as we have and because they didn't cross over pop. They didn't get the same love and respect and recognition as their white counterparts. So, but on the other hand, I just don't think it isn't like a done like a soap opera type of thing. So, it comes on June twentieth and. Um, I will do another take on it when I see it, but as of right now, you know, I don't know really what quite to say if it's how it's going to be done. Part of me is glad that they're acknowledging him, but the other part of me is I just hope it's not watered down and I hope it ain't too <clears throat> done for, you know, with a Jerry Springer pitch. There's, there's going to be some things in there that they're not <clears throat> going to, obviously there's going to be some stuff that's, you know, what happened in their lives, the dysfunction. Um, I want to give a shout out to Tommy DeBarge, the bass player, who told, wrote his book and it was very detailed and interesting too. So we will see how this all turns out. But anyway, that's my take on that Bobby DeBarge story, which will be coming to TV One June 20th. Feel free to leave them comments, feel free to subscribe. And when the bell rings, a new video, and you have a great day, and I'm out. They'll never be.